with disastrous consequences. Russia and Iran are now propping up Assad, and there are reports that you Thompson, members of the committee, thank you for inviting me here today. Uh, my colleagues have made clear in their openings, ISIL has used that ubiquitous social media to break the model and push into the United States, into the pocket, onto the mobile devices of troubled souls throughout our country in all 50 states, a twin message, come or kill, come or kill. Come to the so-called caliphate, live a life of glory, participate in the final battle between good and evil on God's side, come to the caliphate, and if you can't come, kill where you are. Chair recognizes Mr. Longevin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, want to thank you, and I want to thank uh, witnesses for being here today and, uh, and your testimony. How um, concerned are you from a, a security perspective on this, and do you think this will increase your counterterrorism uh, caseload if we bring in uh, 10,000 Syrians into the United States? Uh, Secretary Johnson. Um, Chairman, we, I, I, am, I am concerned that we do the proper security vetting for refugees we bring into this country. We've committed to 10,000, and I've committed that each one will receive a careful security vetting. It is true that we're not going to know a whole lot about a lot of the Syrians that come forth in this process. The uh, provisions in the Combating Violent Extremism Bill we marked up out of committee, and we appreciate that. The chair recognizes that. Congressman, in general, I do believe that we need a comprehensive strategy to foreign terrorist fighter travel. I also agree that since 2006, the, the threat has evolved enormously, um, <clears throat> particularly from European countries. Uh, we're concerned about those who have been to Syria and who come to this country from a country for which we do not require a visa, which is why, as you know, uh, I announced a number of security enhancements with respect to travel from European countries to deal with this exact threat. Uh, Ma'am, on the degree to which terrorist organizations are interested in developing a cyber capability, they absolutely are. It is clearly a great